The most distant human-made object is floating beyond every visible star, far into the cosmos. That tiny object is Voyager 1, a lonely spacecraft still moving through space after decades. Launched from Earth in 1977, it has passed planets, dust clouds, and endless darkness. No one imagined it would still be flying through cold voids so many years later. Its original mission was simple, observe the gas giants, then retire. But Voyager 1 refused to stop, pushing beyond every horizon into interstellar space. Now, it sends signals from the edge of the solar system, where stars shine like torches in black ink. This spacecraft uses technology older than a cassette player, yet still speaks to US. The onboard system runs with less memory than a modern photo, but it's still active like a flickering screen. It's powered by a nuclear battery, glowing softly like a dying lantern in deep space. Recently, Voyager 1 made a discovery that shook the scientific world to its core. What it found in the deep black region made experts gather around glowing monitors. It detected waves, particles, and unexpected fluctuations in the magnetic sea around it. But to understand this, we must look back to the beginning, a moment lit by genius. Gary Flandro, using just pencils and paper, discovered something extraordinary at NASA's lab. In the late 1970s, the planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune would align in a rare formation. This alignment happens once every 176 years, a perfect window in the night sky. Using gravity, spacecraft could slingshot past planets like skipping stones over black waters. This would make travel faster, shrinking decades into a few bright years. NASA launched two probes, Voyager 1 and 2, just 15 days apart under glowing skies. They were identical twins, moving with fire under their steel shells, heading for the unknown. Though meant to last four years, both kept flying like comets, crossing each planetary milestone. Voyager 1 soon flew past Jupiter, capturing volcanoes on its moon Io that burst like fireworks. It showed that Io wasn't dead rock, but a world of boiling lava and glowing gases. Voyager 2 later reached Uranus and Neptune, uncovering blue storms and magnetic fields like glowing auroras. Their discoveries rewrote textbooks, showing that icy moons and giant planets were far from boring. They photographed unknown moons, watched geysers on Triton, and revealed hidden rings like cosmic halos. Each spacecraft was as big as a car, but braver than armies of silent drones. Their onboard memory was just 70 kilobytes, less than one digital photo today. They passed the asteroid belt, navigating through rocky shadows like pioneers crossing dangerous terrain. Signals sent home had to travel billions of miles, weaker than a fridge bulb. To communicate, they used a 12-foot-wide antenna, aimed precisely like a sniper's scope. As distance increased, signals faded into the static, drowned by Earth's noisy tech world. It now takes 22 hours for a message from Voyager 1 to reach NASA's dishes. And yet, it speaks clearly, whispering from across the stars into human ears. This has helped scientists map the shape of our solar bubble, the area ruled by the sun. At the edge lies the helipause, a boundary where the solar wind meets interstellar forces. In 2012, Voyager 1 crossed this boundary under a sky full of silent planets. Suddenly, plasma density jumped, like splashes in an unseen ocean, signaling entry into interstellar space. But strangely, the magnetic field didn't change as expected, no clear line was crossed. Scientists, staring at their data screens, were puzzled by this invisible wall. It suggested that space beyond the sun might not be as foreign as we once thought. The heliosphere, once thought to be a solid shield, seemed more like a soft, drifting cloud. Beyond it, Voyager detected ripples, plasma waves, and whispers in the dark vacuum. Was this noise from another star, or was it the echo of forgotten supernovas? Scientists debated around glowing digital displays, crafting new theories under their office lights. The data pointed to a dynamic interstellar medium, full of energy and cosmic currents. This space wasn't still, it was alive, swirling like smoke in an endless room. Voyager's discovery challenged old beliefs and inspired new cosmic maps. Despite fading power, 
The probe still sends packets of data across the infinite blackness. Its radio hum is like a heartbeat in a cold, empty theater. One by one, its systems shut down, dimming like dying stars, but still fighting to work. What began as a mission of science has become a symbol of human will. Even with 1970s parts and ancient software, Voyager continues to travel where no one else has. It shows that curiosity beats time, and that wonder fuels every silent rocket. Voyager proves exploration isn't about tools, it's about daring to step into the dark void. Now, with its latest messages, it reminds us that the universe is still full of mystery. This isn't just about space, it's about US, about asking big questions beneath our blue sky. Let Voyager's story inspire you to reach beyond fear, to seek knowledge in every direction. Its faint signal, like a whisper from the stars, tells us we're part of something much larger. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.